Hey everybody, what's going on? So it's been a whole long while, like we're talking months. Months and months and months since I've talked to a camera properly and bitched to it and given it my soul. It's been a long fucking time and I thought, I don't want to do rants anymore because it's stifling me. It's stifling the artist within me. But really, that's just my pretension and my ego that inflates itself and thinks that, hey, people want my art more than they want my stupid words, which is pretentious in the first place because it's assuming that people want to hear my words. Like I have any kind of authority or any kind of intellectual advantage over anybody fucking else. I don't. The real reason why I wanted to stop making rants, I'm going to be honest with you, it's because I do not value my opinion whatsoever. I, like when I was 16, 17, around the age where everyone thinks that their opinion matters, I really did think that my opinion fucking mattered. I thought that my opinion trumped all, you know, I thought I knew fucking everything. But I got older, and I keep getting older, and I'm almost 25 years old now, and I'm, I'm at a point where I just don't think my opinion means jack shit. Not in the grand scheme of things, not in the small scheme of things, not in any fucking way does it matter at all. But there's freedom in that, because I can just espouse whatever the fuck I want to say, and it doesn't really make a difference. It's not going to change anything. I'm not going to change any minds. I don't have some kind of Morgan Freeman or Sam Jackson-like voice. I have this nasally annoying fucking Midwestern accented voice. Uh, and my opinions are stupid. I'm telling you right now, my opinions are fucking dumb. So yeah, point being, my opinion doesn't matter. And you shouldn't listen to me. If you want to, then I encourage it. I could use the YouTube money. And that's what this video is about. It's not about YouTube money in specific, just about money in general. Because the older I get, the amount of money I have becomes smaller in comparison to the needs that I have. I remember when I was a little kid and $10 meant the fucking world to me. It meant I could go to the gas station or I could go to Walmart and get, a, get 10 fucking Hot Wheels. And if I had 10 fucking Hot Wheels, I was the coolest kid in my bedroom. I've never been the coolest kid in the room, usually not even when I'm by myself. I don't know how that works, but I'm telling you, it's the fucking truth. You get to your teenage years, and $100 seems like a fucking gargantuan amount of money because you don't have any bills to pay, you don't have any responsibilities, $100 puts gas in your tank, you can take your friends out to food, this is back when I still had friends. You can do a lot of fucking things with $100. And then you turn 18 or 19 years old, and you either get kicked out of your parents' house, or you make the really stupid decision like I did to go out on your own. I'm going to go explore the fucking world. I'm going to see things. I'm going to go experience this country for all that it's worth. I'm going to grab it by the throat and I'm going to thrust myself inside of it. Then all of a sudden, it's like $500. $500, I can do fucking anything. I can get a train ticket anywhere in America as long as it's a few weeks in advance. That's the trick with Amtrak, by the way. If you want to travel cheap, pick your destination weeks or even months ahead of time. Because if you do that, the tickets get cheaper the longer you wait. So $500, you can get to anywhere you want to go and book a hotel for a couple days. That's round fucking trip. Or if you're like me, you just get a ticket and you go and you see where it fucking takes you. Now, a couple years go by, you turn 22 or 23, and then you realize you don't want to fucking travel anymore because you're fucking sick of it. So you want to get an apartment. And then all of a sudden, a thousand dollars. One thousand dollars can get you anything that you want. It can pay your rent, it can get gas for your car, you can stock your fridge once a week. A thousand dollars will get you to the next thousand dollar hurdle. And then you turn 25. And I haven't hit it yet, but I'm telling you, $1,500 now, and it's not nearly enough to do fucking anything. I got rent to pay for my house. That's right, I have a fucking house. Contrary to popular belief, I'm not a total fuck up in that I can have a house. It's a small house, and the basement leaks, and the front of it is caked in dirt from years and years and years of neglect that I have spent hours scrubbing and trying to get clean that will not come off. I'm talking like probably a decade's worth of dirt. I have utilities to pay, I have an internet bill to pay, a water bill 
bill to pay, an electricity bill to pay. We have to have insurance on the car that we have to gas up, which is almost four fucking dollars a gallon now, and it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse, and I can't afford a fucking Tesla or something that doesn't take gas that I could just charge and have a really fucking high electric bill instead because it's still no comparison to the four dollars a gallon I'm putting in the fucking thing right now. So fifteen hundred dollars, you know, way back in the day, we're gonna go back to the days of Hot Wheels, that would have bought me every fucking Hot Wheel I could have possibly found. I could have had enough Reese's snacks to last me a goddamn lifetime and now fifteen hundred dollars doesn't get me to next month. So money's this wonderful thing, right? They say that money can't buy happiness, but the only people that say that shit are rich motherfuckers. You ever notice that? You, you never, ever, 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 ever hear a poor person say money can't buy you happiness unless they are trying to lie to themselves. I'll tell you what, I've been happy a lot of times in my life, and most of the time, money has been a direct influence, because money buys experiences. If you have money, you can do things, and those things will create memories in your brain that you can have for the rest of your life. Without it, you have to sit in your fucking house and do jack shit, and just wait. Work and wait. It's like you're wasting your life for this monetary gain that's only going to get you over the next fucking hurdle. And the more money you make, the more problems you have. So really, there's no way out of this shit. There's no way out of this fucking hassle of everyday existence. I was tired of money when I needed $100 at 16. I was tired of it when I needed $500. And I'm sure as fuck tired of it when I need 1500 just to fucking survive on a regular basis. And even then, we have moments like now, where I'm just sitting here waiting for a check to come in the mail that could take another fucking week. And luckily, thank you, as you see I'm making this video, so people have bought my record. There's been like hundreds of downloads of this record, which blows my fucking mind. And like 40 of you, 40 out of the 200, have bought the fucking record, which has helped me so fucking much. I appreciate it, and I love you, and this felt good. This felt really cathartic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna run with it. 30 days, 30 rants, this was day one. We're talking about money and how much it fucking blows dicks. And I'm not talking small, stereotypical Asian dicks. I'm talking stereotypical big black throbbing cocks. And you just have to sit there and watch. Watch your girlfriend suck it. Not that my girlfriend did, but I'm talking like the proverbial girlfriend. You get what I'm saying. Have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow. Welcome.